Hi, my name is Jocelyn Gutierrez and I'm going to be doing my final project for clinical animal behavior. And I'm going to focus it on feline low stress restraint videos, uh, kind of focusing on using the towel because I want to start with using a stuffed animal first and then I will attempt to do my best at doing it with my kitten Henry. So first I just wanted to mention how in a clinical setting, Cats are not as socialized as dogs, so they're not they're less accepting <laughs> to restrain than dogs. So it's important to let the cats come out of their carrier themselves instead of putting forcing them out of the carrier. Um, the goal is to keep them as comfortable as possible. And another thing is to probably let them choose where they are going to get examined. And probably the best place is hopefully on the table, but if they are going to roam around the room and wherever they're most comfortable, um, that's where I would do it. So I'm first going to start off with the blanket wrap and by watching the videos this is how I'm going to go by practicing. First go from your head. So make sure you keep your hands secure on the cat just so they don't try to escape or anything. This towel I feel like it's kind of small than in the video. but. Ooh, yeah. And then, as taught in class, it's important to keep the forearms on the cat just to make sure it's as stable and they feel comfortable this way. So next is a burrito wrap, and they will be starting on the towel. I should go like this, covering their head. Keeping a hand on them at all times. So that wrap was more of access to the rear and can go up as much as the heart. And this is for more of access to the head. So similar technique, just keeping their head exposed. So the scarf wrap also provides access to the head. I feel like this towel is a little short, so when I try to do it, it's a little short, but we work with what we have. Normally that would go all the way around. So this is the same technique, just having the caudal vein exposed. In a normal exam, I would just let him be like this. Will not let him walk around like that. Keep him still as the veterinarian is checking him, making sure he's calm, probably give him a few treats. Definitely not use a towel because he doesn't really seem to need it. He's not fearful since he's in his own house, but if this was in a clinical setting, I would probably use it depending on the situation. Lateral. There we go. That's good, buddy. <laughs> he kind of just likes to lay on his side. For dorsal, I'd probably put him between my legs just so he can sit on, on his back. But, so I have seen technicians scruff before, but I don't think he would really need it. I don't think you would mind it either, but I'm really
I mean, he's purring right now and he doesn't really seem to care, but I probably wouldn't on him because he's so easygoing. As I've stated before, it's always best to use uh, stuffed animals first just so you can get the gist of it, do it quickly, and be confident with it. Um, so when I do actually do unfearful cats, I'll know what I be, I'm going to be doing. But on cats like Henry, it's probably easier to do it that way, not as much restraint, and hopefully they're not as fearful when they're in a clinic. But So I'm glad Henry had to participate, even though he didn't really do that much. But he did pretty good. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.